Yeah. What's the address? 13... 1321 and 1327. 1321 and 1327. What? What's the street? Westylvania. West Westylvania. And this is a very unique opportunity because there's a lot of things going on with this particular property that you don't get with other stuff, right? Number one, uh, you have a formal commercial building that is now residentially utilized, right? So you do technically have the ability to tap into that commercial zoning should you so choose. I think the better bet for the cash flow investor, though, is going to be to continue operating it as a two-family apartment building. But we have like an $80,000 variance between comps and the condition of this property. On top of that, I got the hookup for you to get the work done. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are gonna provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. If you are buying distressed assets for under fair market value, you're gonna make money. In any market, in any time, don't matter what the rates are, okay? Check this one out. 1321 West Sylvania, Toledo. Coming to you just under 100K. 99999. What's a dollar among friends, right? 100K, okay? Now, this is in an area where stuff like this will comp out in the 180s, right? And this is a very unique opportunity because there's a lot of things going on with this particular property that you don't get with other stuff, right? Number one, uh, you have a formal commercial building that is now residentially utilized, right? So you do technically have the ability to tap into that commercial zoning should you so choose. I think the better bet for the cash flow investor, though, is going to be to continue operating it as a two-family apartment building. On top of that, next to it, right, you see another one. That one's even bigger. That one's actually in a little bit better shape. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to Holton Wise TV so you can see the video on that one, right? That one's 1327, Okay, I think that one off the top of my head is like 129, right? You could buy one, you could buy them both, right? You buy them both, you got four units right then and there, man. They're sharing the same uh, parking lot driveway kind of deal, right? This particular one is going to need some love, right? You're going to have to do a full-on renovation, right? You're going to have to replace the roof. As you can see, there's a little bit of water damage and stuff in here, right? You cruise on down to the basement, though. You will see some newer mechanicals, right? We have, like, one newer furnace, one newer hot water tank. Other two are probably going to need to be replaced, right? So you got a decent chunk of work, right? But we have like an $80,000 variance between comps in the condition of this property. On top of that, I got the hookup for you to get the work done, right? You don't have to utilize these guys, but you very well could, and I think you very well should, and that's my dudes over at Oz Realty, right? I've known the owner of Oz Realty for like 10 years, although I guess he wasn't technically the owner of Oz Realty. They do another operation where they sell fully renovated properties called Ohio Cashflow. That's what they've been rocking when I met him. Uh, but then they also created this brokerage that does just traditional property management, right? And they can do project management. They can hook you up with contractors and get some of these renovations, all these renovations, actually, get them done for you and get the property ran in the turnkey way, right? So you get that turnkey experience without paying the turnkey premium, right? You get to do what guys like him or what guys like me do, right? You come in and you buy the asset when it's distressed, pay to get it fixed, and then you end up with the turnkey property for less than the turnkey price, right? So here at Holton Wise TV, man, we set you guys up with everything and anything you're going to need to get the turnkey experience on any type of property, right? So with this particular property, I would assume you probably want to walk it, or at the very least, you probably want a trusted contractor of yours to walk it. Fine. No problem. Let's get you in there. Let's get you doing all the due diligence, right? Send an email to my guys, sales at holtonwise.com, and let us know that you're trying to get in there or you want a contractor or somebody like that, a friend, whoever, to get in there to do the due diligence, do the due diligence for you, right? It's all about trust but verifying this game, right? You don't got to take my word for it, right? I want you to get in there yourself, okay? So send me an email, sales at holtonwise.com. If you get a hold of us before 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We'll probably get you in there same day, if not the next business day. Then after you do your due diligence, send me an offer. We'll field your offer. And then after it closes, I think you're well-primed 
to send this deal off to my dudes over at Oz Realtor. You don't have to. You don't have to. You could buy this property for me and you could renovate it yourself. That's cool with me. You don't have to. But what I'm all about is providing the viewers with options. I know the majority of you that are watching Holton Wise TV right now. I know a lot of you cats are out there in California. Some of you are out there in New York, New Jersey. Hell, some of you are even out there in that dirty Filthy shithole, Portland. You're probably tripping over a homeless man's turd in a hypodermic needle right now as we speak. You're like, holy hell, how do I get my money out of this hellhole? And that's why folks like you watch my show, because I provide you guys with investment opportunities in the best cash flow markets throughout the U.S. of A. And I provide you guys with the team members you need on the ground to get things done, right? So send your offers to me. Highly suggest you guys talk to Oz Realty about managing this project. Or if this one doesn't tickle your fancy, right? This one doesn't give you that, I don't know, that lovey-dovey feeling in your loins there. It doesn't titillate your juices. Maybe you want to talk to Oz Realty about some other stuff. Maybe you want to check out what else we got here on Holton Wise TV because we are presenting you guys properties from all the markets you're, you're fond of, right? Cleveland, Detroit, Columbus, Cincinnati, Dayton. Uh, Memphis, Indianapolis, right? The best cash flow markets in the USA. Soon to be Baltimore. We got you guys covered. Let's go. Looks straight? No, but the roof doesn't look straight, so it's as straight as it's going to be. What's the address here? Huh? What's the address? 13... 1321 and 1327. 1321 and 1327. What? What's the street? West Sylvania. West West Sylvania. West Sylvania. This place, she is a beaut. This is the other people's property. It's the back. state-of-the-art call system. I think that's a gas pipe. <laughs> Who's okay. So you think it was maybe one of these? Another one of those? Maybe, but why would there be a... Good one for each unit? Yeah, but like a water pipe? Why? No, it's like a, that's a voice thing. Oh, it's one of those voice tubes? Yeah, I think so. This place is... <coughs> nice, dude. Gnarly. Came in, I thought this was a bathroom. I don't think that's what it is anymore. Oh. <coughs> is there a fire here? Uh, I don't know, it's hard to tell. It looks kind of like it. See, but it doesn't smell like there was a fire in here, you know? Oh, shit, that's a cool air conditioner, dude. Come 
on a dust camera. Beautiful room. The only thing about this place that's really odd is that it's like a maze. Yeah, the layout makes no sense. Oh, it's a peeling and chip paint. Yeah, it's got to be a fire. This looks like too much soot. And then, if you buy it, you're definitely going to need to put a toilet. And probably a door here. Mm, yeah, how the fuck are they calling this a bathroom, dude? <laughs> no door. Zero doors. Just a fucking shit on there, too, huh? Harry yeah, but then you, you look at rooms like this, and like, maybe there wasn't a fire, maybe just somebody was really what, fucking... Was fucking watercolor, dude? Look at that! that. Someone's shit! What the fuck <laughs> look at that, dude! Is that shit on the ceiling? It's not pudding. Oh, man. Yeah, no, I think people that lived here were just animals, dude. They're just fucking smearing the shit on the wall, dude? Brand new ADT system, now. That's the nicest thing in the fucking house, dude. All the seam tape's coming undone from the ceiling. <coughs> nice bathroom. It's a state-of-the-art bathroom. Functional, probably. Possibly. No promises. There's like four more rooms back here for some reason. Yeah, it's so weird to play out. Like how many bedrooms? One, two, and then three back here? Yeah, and I think this might have been like the living room area because it's got like a a built-in like entertainment area. But then it's carpeted. And then again all the ceiling tiles are fucking have fallen. Walls fucked. We got this one back here. Which has a drain. Bro, oh, maybe this was the kitchen. Yeah, I think where you're standing right now was the kitchen. Yeah, I think you're right. It makes sense because main ceiling. Really fuck, yeah, there's a spider crawling on my head. Down there. Yeah, I saw that. That's why I was like, oh, this has got to be the kitchen. And then that's the common hallway, right? What the fuck is this Common hallway? Basement first, yeah. Yeah, hold on. I, didn't, I feel like I missed a room in here. Yeah, there's a big one. Yo, this window is just open, too? It's non existent. It doesn't exist. Oh! The pink nightmare room. I thought there was a bit of a breeze. You got, you got this one, right? Yeah. Yeah, this one's falling apart. I think there might be some plumbing issues. Slightly. Yeah, and then I'll do the. Yeah, I did this room. I did that room. Did the bathroom. Yeah, I think we're good in this one. I hit the basement. Basement, when I peeked down in the basement, it didn't look like anything was still here though, so I doubt it. Looks like this one's been gutted. Oh, watch your head. Oh, well, I guess it's oh, yeah. still here. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Newer electrical, save me some money. Are you ready to go? Save you some money on that, dude. Here's old furnace. Most of your furnace. Old hot water tank, too. Yeah, so it looks like there's a newer. newer ah, fuck. My head. Cobwebs. I'll tell you that. Where's the other hot water tank? That's the neat part. There's not one. There's one. So maybe the other one just needs to be installed still. There's the front of the furnace. <sighs> Look at. Um... Mm -hmm. The ductwork right here, and then up here. Yeah, yeah it's non-existent, dude. It's just exposed ductwork, nothing. There's a water meter and all that shit. Looks like this, there's another old furnace unit back here. 
you know what they say, dude. Toledo, they just go through furnaces and hot water tanks. Furnace city, baby. This is always great when you can see through the wall and you can see daylight in your basement. <clears throat> you think this basement's safe? I think it's safe. Oh! I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Yo! Nice hole. I can see. Fuck, is it a junction box? That's in that bathroom. That's in uh, that. this just open sewer lines right here, too? Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's all. Yeah, it's all good. You don't have to put anything in there. Keeps the air flowing. Lets out the sewer gas directly into your house. It's perfect for you. Lets out that nice sewer gas smell we all love. I didn't even notice that this is just a piece of plexiglass. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.